What's up guys, Enrique here, team leader with PRG Real Estate, powered by EXP Realty. Uh, I wanted to make this video uh, with a quick tip for anybody who is considering selling a home during this time. You know, it's uh, the market is crazy, it's a seller's market. Um, and I, I would have to believe that some people who are thinking of selling ask themselves this question is, should I make repairs even though the market's hot? Like, should I clean up my house and fix it up to get it on the market? And if so, what repairs should I do? And is there a different strategy that we're gonna use during a hot market versus a slower market? So I wanna kind of unpack that. So here's the thing, guys, is even though we are in a hot market, it's a seller's market where the inventory is limited, homes are selling fast, um, the homes that get the most action, the most amount of views, the most amount of you know, buyers coming to the table and submitting offers are homes that are move-in ready. Uh, right, so even though the market is it's gonna it's gonna do what it's gonna do, the homes are gonna sell themselves. There is an advantage to preparing your home for market versus just leaving some things undone um, or just you know taking photos the way it is and slapping it on the market. Like we don't want to do that. We don't advise anybody to do that. So, what stuff should you do? Here's what I recommend: is at the very uh, basic level, guys, is we got to address the paint in a home right now. When, when fixing up your home for this market, we're not gonna go crazy. The goal is to put the least amount of money into the property so that you can get the highest return and it could present itself the best when you put it on you know, the photos on the market and on the MLS. So paint, guys, paint is one of those things where it doesn't cost so much and it makes a, a, a dramatic impact. So um, repainting the interior of a home, a fresh uh, coat of paint with a neutral color you know, the light grays and the light beiges are in, even like all white on the, on the walls is in nowadays. Um, and, you know, touching up all the trim um, with the nice fresh, you know, fresh white, that's gonna like give that new smell when people walk in. It's gonna make the home look, you know, shine uh, better than it has before. And that right there, guys, is something that where you might spend a few thousand bucks, but it's gonna make a huge difference in, um, you know, what buyers think when they first walk into the property. Now, we got to look at the exterior. Um, I would address the exterior. I would, if you have, if you've painted your home within the last few years and it's a neutral color, you may be able to get away with just leaving that. You may sometimes get away with just redoing the trim on the outside or fresh, you know, paint on the trim. Um, if you have a color that's like a really uh, unique color and it doesn't appeal to the masses, then I would definitely paint the whole entire exterior. Um, now let's talk about the inside. So the, the main areas that people look at are gonna be like the kitchen, right? Um, because that's where people spend a lot of time is the kitchen and probably your master bedroom and your master bath. So I always like to go into a kitchen and say, okay, what are the cabinets like? Are they older cabinets? Are they still functional? Um, you know, sometimes just painting the cabinets fresh coat of white and uh, putting some new knobs on the, on the cabinets is gonna do wonders. It's gonna really change the look and it's gonna feel like it's been you know, remodeled somewhat or updated, and you might be able to get away with that. Um, the other thing we're gonna look at is the bathroom, right? Like you can go to a Lowe's or a Home Depot, and you can probably put a brand new vanity um, for not, not that much. You're not gonna spend a lot, but it's gonna give that wow factor. It's gonna make it look, you know, your bathroom more updated. So you can even do things like paint tile in bathrooms. We've done that where you have like tile that's faded, it's, it's old, the grout lines don't look that good, and there's a special paint where they can come and refinish that. So uh, guys, paint really goes a long way both on the inside and outside in the kitchens and the baths. Um, flooring is something that I would look at as well. So uh, if you have old carpet, maybe just replacing the carpet. If you have hardwood floors that are in still good condition, you can always refinish the hardwood floors or even just give them like a deep cleaning and a conditioning and make them shine that can go a long way. If your floors are extremely damaged, then you may wanna consider putting in like some laminate floors, something that you know looks nice but is not that expensive. Um, and then the last thing, guys, I would address in the interior of a home is gonna be like the fixtures. So something that's inexpe inexpensive is changing out light fixtures. Uh, they don't have to be you know super high end, but just something that's a little more modern, like a brush nickel or you know there's some new like modern like the dark bronze color or gold or anything like that, that's something you can do. And just changing out fixtures throughout the house, guys, is gonna spruce the home up and it's gonna give it a more updated feel. Now, the last thing I'm gonna talk about, guys, is landscaping. 
we always uh, recommend that we trim up the trees, we trim the grass, uh, sometimes just putting in some new, you know, bark or, uh, you know, ground cover is going to give you a nice, nice look. Um, sometimes adding a couple plants, guys, but just really at the basic level, just trimming everything back uh, is going to do wonders. So I know that's a, that's a few things there, guys, but just remember that even though we're in a seller's market, there's still an advantage of getting your home spruced up and prepared to go on market because what that's going to ensure for you is that more people see your home. It looks nicer online with the marketing. More people are going to want to come out to your home. And if it's move-in ready, then the buyer is thinking to themselves, well, I can just move in, move my stuff in, and the house is ready to go. Maybe I might want to remodel this or remodel that, but I can do that later. So the more move-in ready your home could be, you're casting a wider net. There's more buyers out there who are going to want to buy your home. And in return, you're going to get more offers and the price is going to go higher. So I hope those tips help you guys out, guys, but you should definitely do some sort of repairs and some sort of preparation to your home before you put it on the market, even in this hot market. We'll see you next time, guys. Thanks. Thank you.